Hi, Claude Pallon here from Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is part three of our WordPress setting up series, and uh, we're going to show how to set up the permalinks properly. So uh, when you log into your blog, you'll come to your login information, get into your dashboard, and when you first set up your website, that is when you um, create the website, it's going to give you a this basic blue theme, which is the standard ugly blue theme. It'll give you this hello world um, post, and now you've known that you know that all your setup has been done correctly, and you have a virgin site that needs to be filled. There's one post and one page in it, and that's it. Uh, we saw in lessons one that you come down here to your settings, and you go through general first, because that's where you're going to come in and create the site title. It's going to uh, default to your do main domain name when you first create it, uh, and then you'll have to give it uh, the real title of the using the keywords you want. You'll put tags. Um, you can create a support email address. You can do that in your web host. You should do that. Uh, you pick your date and time configuration. You click Save Changes. You come down to Writing. Uh, add the number of lines you want for the post input box when you would create content. It defaults. It starts with a 10 default. I usually give it to 20 or 30. Come down to your reading. It defaults to 20 posts per page, 20 items per page. I usually go 3 to 5. It's up to you, uh, you know, what you're comfortable with. Um, don't worry about discussion media. Check your privacy settings to make sure that your, your site is public so it, it can be indexed by the um, search engines. If you really want to work on it and not have anybody look at it, you can click the lower uh, button here and then block the search engines. And when you're ready, come back and, and turn the top one back on. Go public, save changes. It's up to you. And then come down to permalinks. Now, permalinks is uh, an interesting concept. The permalink is really the site URL of the, in, the, the content you're creating for that specific page of content. What do I mean? If you go to your post here, there's only one post, but we'll take a look. And we go into the post box. This is the information box that's now 30 lines high, uh, where you input data. So there's some data here. And this post has a title of the Hello World. And you're going to see here the term permalink. See that title? Permalink. That is the website address of your content for that specific page, this right here. Now, you'll notice that it's the website forward slash question mark P equals one. That's page number one. It's just a page number. And why is it showing like that? Now, that is the link for this specific post. So if I want to view the post, you're going to see that in my URL box, the address bar here, there it is. That's the name of the post. This is how it's referred to. This has no SEO value whatsoever, none. So you really don't want that. So when you come to your permalinks, you're going to notice here that the default is page numbers. Now you can select date, name, month, name, uh, numeric, etc. You want to come to custom structure. You want to come over here. And you're going to, there's a, a variable you're going to want to put in here, which is a forward slash percentage post name percentage forward slash dot PHP. Now you're going to want to make sure you come down here and save changes. Okay, so now you save the changes and you've got this generic uh, suffix. It's what follows the um, URL, main URL, and we'll take a look at what that does. Come back to the post, come back to edit. Now what we've got, if you see here, is the main URL, oops, sorry. The main URL has changed. Your URL now reads name of the site and hello world. Where does that come from? It's because the variable variable we put in is now putting in the post title in the URL. Okay? Now, why is that important? It's important, and we'll, if we view the post, it's important because now you have your keywords for your post right in the URL. And that, from a search engine optimization standpoint is very, very important. You want to do that. Search engines like that because it tells the search engine what this page is about. So you, that is what that variable did. So the first thing you also you want to do when you're setting up your site is come down to your permalinks 
S click custom structure and put in this variable. And that will be a way of setting yourself up for the search engine optimization to work properly on your site. So if you do general writing, privacy permalinks right off the bat, you'll be setting up your site properly in the very early phases of, of setting up a website using WordPress. Now you haven't posted any content yet, but at least you have this basic structure set up and ready for content. So that's it. That's the tip of the day. This is Claude Polana at Affiliate Starting Line. I hope this has been useful. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.